We're in E flat minor, which is a key that at this level your students probably do not have much experience with. Now, the nice thing is that E flat natural minor is actually a pretty comfortable key and everything is flat besides the Fs. So you can default to playing everything flat. Now that said, I think the problem with this piece is remembering the C flats. C flats can be problematic for students because they just don't look like a black key, as well as the number of accidentals that Grieg included in this. There is a whole lot of chromatic movement. We can see that from all these chords that are moving through such as those top notes, of course, are just moving down by half step. And if you add the left hand, it also moves by half steps. I'll just play the outside. And that's sequenced over and over and over again through that middle section.